hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing great in this video i'm going to teach you how to create beautiful animations uh, that responds to the movement of the cursor and how to add custom cursor in mix studio so i'm going to teach you how you can create this type of uh, animation um, but more than that i will teach you how to create these blobs how to create the gradient text how to create these uh, animated waves and many more things the best part about this design is that it does not uh, affect the performance that much so you can make your website look good without you know sacrificing a lot of performance score so um, yeah without further delay let's get started so first of all let me teach you how to create these uh, blobs you know these images so there are many free tools online that you can use so my personal favorite is this uh, blob generator by magic pattern uh, this is a free tool which you can use to create blobs so just go here and set the design so you have the edges first of all okay then you have the smoothness of the edges how smooth do you want your uh, blob to be um, then you have different fill options first you have the solid color which will give you uh, a single color then we have the outline which will create this kind of empty uh, blob after that we have the linear gradient uh, with plenty of options to choose from so you can uh, simply go here and rotate the gradient as well add your own color and many other options all right so you can do that as well all right then we have the radial gra uh, gradient and after that i have the image here just like we uh, did here okay so you can add your images as well like this okay and finally we have the pattern to add different patterns here so you can create the blobs so for this one let's go with the uh, gradient for now after you create the blob go to export and if you are using the gradient or any other option um, except the image make sure to export in the uh, svg format that's because uh, the svg format file is uh, you know very light and it won't affect your uh, performance that much so as you can see it is only 591 bytes okay that's that's pretty low um, let's create a couple more uh, blobs with different designs something like this and choose uh, a different gradient for now okay once again export the svg and finally let's take one image as well now when you create the uh, blob with an image make sure to export the png format all right because uh, wix studio does not support the um, svg with the image all right so uh, that's the blob now let's create um, this wave right here so for that you have to go to this website called svgwave.in and this website allows you to create um, static as well as animated waves all right so go here and create animate uh, let's change the uh, direction for now add more layers add more waves like this increase the height a bit now you can uh, select the orientation uh, let's go with this one for now now export it and it will give you a code like this simply copy this and go to your Wix studio now let's add a new page and redesign these uh, animations and everything okay so now we have the uh, section here 
The first thing you need to do in order to add the waves is go to embed and socials and click on embed code. And in the code, um, simply copy the SVG uh, code right here. Okay. And it will create a wave in your section like this. Now, um, set its width and height according to your section. Okay, so now we have the uh, wave right here. Okay, now this SVG pattern will uh, will be light, so you don't have to worry about performance that much. Um, I think we need to create some space uh, for other elements, so let's create something like this. Export, copy, go back here, edit code, and update. Okay, now if you have this kind of elevation, you have to uh, add another section in order to uh, place it properly. Okay, so now it looks like this. All right, add our blobs in the studio. So go to add elements in media, upload. And add all the files that you have just created. Uh, another uh, tip right here is to uh, convert your PNG files into .webp using cloudconvert.com um, so that you can compress the image and uh, increase your performance score. So uh, let's add these three um, assets to our website. And you also have to make sure that this element is way back in the uh, design. So um, it's already in the back, but if you uh, have it in the front, make sure that the uh, wave or any uh, other animation is in the back side so that you uh, it doesn't interfere with the clicking uh, clickable elements, any buttons or images, etc. Um, so yeah, that's the gradient we have right here. Okay, so we have placed uh, these elements. I think it can go around here. Now let's create some uh, animation for the cursor movement. Uh, go to your section, into your animation and effects, and in the mouse effect, click on add and select track. Okay, now when you uh, select the tracking, it, it will be really fast at first. So you have to adjust the animation a bit. Um, you can see that this is really fast and moves uh, really far so you have to make sure that the distance is low and uh, the velocity is also uh, you know slower so what you can do here is uh, set the distance from 15 to 35 i think is a good uh, value 
and increase the velocity a bit. Okay, so it will move slower. Just a subtle movement with the movement of cursor. Right, like this. Now, if you want to set the same kind of uh, movement for other blobs, you can simply, uh, you know, set the same values for uh, other blobs as well. But I think I'm going to go with a little uh, different uh, movement. So I'm going to go with the track here. Velocity around 25. And velocity like this. But I will invert the movement of the mouse. So they uh, move in uh, you know opposite direction. And finally, we have this uh, image right here. So I'm going to select this mouse effect, add, and drag. Adjust the animation. And for this one, let's uh, change the axis to vertical only and select the ease out back. So the ease out back option uh, create kind of like the uh, bouncing effect right so it, it uh, moves a little bit towards the center uh, after you you know stop the movement of the cursor increase the velocity a bit um, also decrease the distance i think 15 will be good for this one so it won't move in the uh, horizontal direction only in the vertical direction kind of like you know floating in this wave okay so this is how you create the uh, cursor animation now let me show you how to create gradient text um, so to create the gradient text you have to first go here and select uh, go to the text and text uh, mask now you can select um, any of these options so there are two options here first you can set any media file which will uh, you know work as a background like this one right here or you can set the gradient or solid color like this okay so let's go with any of the uh, options let's uh, select this one for now okay now hit uh, change text and you can set your text right here now this uh, text mask won't give you the option to change the font you have to set it just like an image all right so you have to uh, resize it like you do for the image um, if you want to change the media you can always go here and uh, let's set uh, another video Okay, so now you have this background right here. Um, after that, let's create a mouse effect here as well. So add the mouse effect, and you can add any of these effects right here. Um, I will go with the blob. I like this one. And once again, you have to, you know, make the animation subtle so it doesn't look weird. Um, I'm going to change the scale to around 116, 120 distance around 30 or 25 pixels and increase the velocity like this and similarly ease out back right uh, to give this more uh, interesting look I'm going to add a shadow like this increase the distance add some blur and decrease some opacity like this okay so uh, this is the um, animation now let's go to the URL and see uh, the animation in real page Okay, so as you can see, we now have animations for the blob 
the image, um, the text here, as well as the wave. And the best part here is that uh, this won't affect the performance. Uh, the only thing that may uh, affect the performance is the video that you have used in the mask and the image right here. So as long as you are using the uh, gradients blob and the gradient for the text, um, it won't affect the performance that much. Uh, but yeah, this is how you create the animation. Um, you can create many more uh, cool animations. We have different um, animation effects right here, but make sure that you adjust the animation before uh, setting up the final animation for your entire section. Um, one more thing, uh, let me show you here. You can um, select your section, go to your layers and select the section, and you can uh, set a custom cursor here. So simply add an SVG. For example, in the, let's say you have a pet store, you can simply copy, uh, select this and add it as a cursor, then uh, resize it however you want. 40, uh, 30 to 40 is a good uh, number. Publish it and now you can see the cursor as well right so in this way you can create beautiful animations uh, that you know responds to the cursor movement in uh, Wix studio i will drop the link of these uh, websites in the description so that you can uh, use them to create your own uh, animations